the Russian army is having an increasing problem with desertions, according to a leaked document which appears to show hundreds of men deserting from the Airborne Forces, VDV, since the 1st of February 2023. The document, which has been published by the VCHK OGPU Telegram channel, is likely to come from a military prosecutor's office. It summarizes criminal offenses in the VDV over an unclear time frame, probably starting from the 1st of February 2023. It states that there have been 325 cases of absence without leave, AWOL or SOC in Russian, of which 208 men have been recovered and a further 97 are still wanted. Given that the VDV likely has around 40,000 men, 45,000 pre-war, this may represent nearly 1% of the total. Case lists from Russian military courts have reportedly shown an increasing number of desertion cases being heard. The VDV has suffered heavy casualties during the war, so it's likely that this will have had an effect on its members' morale. It's also of interest that the document records 29 deaths during this period, six of them resulting from, presumably criminal, incidents. Another four cases of inflicting serious bodily harm were recorded. These were likely the results of fights between soldiers. Russia's collective memory separates World War II and the Great Patriotic War, as Soviet, then Russian historians have called it. This video of Russian propagandists is an example. The Great Patriotic War began on the 22nd of June, 1941, and ended on the 9th of May, 1945. Russia considers this war sacred and draws many of its current narratives from it. Russians are firmly convinced it was solely the USSR that won the war, and that only the USSR suffered, or at least suffered the most in World War II. In the special military operation, Russia once more presents itself as the righteous state against the global evil, using rhetoric from the past about fascists and Nazis. The Great Patriotic War was a tragedy of an enormous scale to the USSR. It lost 24 to 27 million of its population. The country was devastated. A lot of it was due to USSR leaders not caring about losses and people's suffering. As we now know, the USSR would not have achieved military advantage and would suffer even more without the help of the Allied powers, although Russia conveniently omits that in its victory day of 1945. Hysterics. What Russian leadership is doing now is re-traumatize its people over and over again to gain society's support and be able to carry out its policy including the special military operation. Moreover, Russia now tries to erase Ukraine from great patriotic war, alleging it fought on the German side, while most of modern Ukrainian territory belonged to the USSR then, was under German occupation for two years, lost an incredible number of civilians and military, up to 44% of total USSR human losses. To Russia, history is yet another propaganda instrument, and the GPW myth is the most powerful of them all. We are aware that Russia itself now shows many signs of the state it fought against in the 1940s. It will take a lot of work to get Russians in contact with today's realities. And part of the job will be to waken Russian people from their great patriotic war dream. Today, 22 June, a day of memory and scorbi. Remember this famous phrase, 22 июня ровно в 4 часа Киев бомбили, нам объявили, что началась война. Тогда бомбили советский Киев. Сегодня же украинские националисты, нацисты, фашистский реально режим Зеленского наносят удары по территории Российской Федерации. Точно так же подло, ночью, с желанием причинить максимальный эффект. И, конечно, необходимо на это отвечать. Не буду здесь делать какие-то призывы, либо чему-либо агитировать. Были сказаны известные слова, должны последовать известные действия. Потому что противник понимает только реальный ответный удар возмездия. The Wagner Group is setting up its own military police force to enforce discipline in the occupied regions of Ukraine, even against Russian army troops, who it says are boozing like pigs. It's currently seeking recruits among former law enforcement employees. Wagner is recruiting former members of Russia's police and National Guard special forces, the Sobiar, Oman, Grom, and other units, to serve in its new police force. An advertisement asking for volunteers has been posted to its VK social media page. The advert, 
invites former employees who have experience in operational work and detention to carry out detention, operational, and commandant functions. The work will be interesting. You can rest assured of that. A monthly salary of 240,000 rubles, $2,961, is offered, plus bonuses, for six-month contracts serving in the Special Military Operations Zone. Employees are also eligible for state awards. It looks like Prigozhin is preparing his private army for taking down Russian leadership in the future. Another October revolution, maybe? Ну ладно, все, давайте. Добро пожаловать, да? В тыловую зону. This is a brilliant illustration of just how stupid and morally bankrupt are the arguments of people pushing Ukraine to negotiate with Russia. You cannot negotiate with someone who came to kill you. Чекай, друже, зараз допоможу. Быстрее, она меня сейчас сожрет. Ох, выбач, не можу. Что? Почему? Боюсь, ты только загострит конфликт между вами. Какого хрена, мужик? Дай хоть оружие для самозащиты. Ни в каком разе. А? Не смейте его сброювать. Это приведет до продолжения конфликта. Да господи, убейте кто-нибудь эту тварь, пока она меня не съела. Как вам не соромно. Заради миру обидві стороны должны начать переговоры. Какие нахрен переговоры? Эта акула напала на меня. Где доказ того, что вы не планировали напасть на акулу першим? Что? Хм, а она права. Все ее правды мы не знаем. Какой правды? Просто пристрелите ее. Досить, досить проливать кровь. Я закликаю до миру между вами. Тоже обеймите один одного и помирите. Да что здесь происходит? Кто-нибудь спасите меня. Выходит, что единый ваш выход – это мирный план. Мирный план? Господи, да что угодно. Подпишите. И снизу тут. Что ж, за угодою, припиніть чинити опір и пожертвуйте своими кінцівками, чтобы нарешті зупинити этот конфликт. И это мирный план? Я же погибну! Невже вы не хотите мирного решения этой ситуации? Как вам не соромно? О, oh. ну что ж, мы намагались. Путин liberated Bakhmut. This is how Bakhmut looks like today. It looks like that in Russian. The word liberation have another meaning. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.